You're you know, calling the prime minister a liar. I'm calling him a great script writer. I think he should try uh, his hand at uh, winning, winning an Academy Award. Okay, CR will be the first hat trick chief minister from Southern India. You hope. The one scary thing that politicians have to do is to take choppers in campaigns, wave in a chopper. Things are getting a bit turbulent. Are you a nervous flyer? Well, I'm more nervous about uh, us answering your tough questions. Uh, tell us what we're eating, by the way, before I get to the politics. Proper South Indian fare. Hmm. Chawal. Hmm. With some non vegetarian. Here on the ground, mm-hmm. in Telangana, this is Barkha Dad with Anup Kumar to Mojo Story. We're here on the ground in Hyderabad as the last mile race for <laughs> Battleground Telangana is underway. And we're joined here by Katie Ramarao. In many ways, the face of the BRS campaign, minister in the government, the working president of his party, the son of the chief minister, and possibly, and I don't know if he'll agree with me, someone who's fighting so far the toughest political battle of his life. Would you accept uh, that categorization? Good to see you here in Hyderabad. Is this, of all the elections you've fought, been the toughest election you're 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 fighting? Barkha, in fact, uh, you know, every election while you're in the midst of it is tough mm-hmm. because in 2018. Uh, exactly five years ago when we were fighting a general election. Even that seemed tougher because, you know, we back then we had Chandrababu Naidu and mm-hmm. all the communists, everybody ganging up against us along with Congress. Mm-hmm. This time, uh, the con- communists have joined. At least one communist party, that is CPI, has joined Congress. But, uh, yeah, every election is tough. Anything different about this election? Look, it's 10 years, right? Yeah. Um, after 10 years, even a, even a marriage is difficult. You really want the voters to to love you just the same? Well, I think in you can, you have seen that you have seen in this country that uh, people have, uh, you know, conferred, you know, reposed faith in governments which have done well. You've seen it in the case of Jyoti Basuji, Navin Patnaik ji, even Gujarat for that matter. I think BJP has won five on the trot. Mm-hmm. So I think people are kind that way. I think uh, we will not have any big problems. But your legislators are facing a degree of anti-incumbency. There are <clears throat> there's an internal uh, assessment I know from people who study your party carefully that at least 25 of your legislators are uh, facing a degree of anger among people. In often we see the leader is popular, but his or her MLAs are not. Are you confronted with that challenge in this election? You know, the challenge is always there. I mean the fatigue factor that you talked about, you know, for an incumbent. Uh, legislator is always going to be there. But the fact is, uh, end of the day, I think people are more interested in looking at who's going to be running the state. I mean, the Congress party here, the BJP here have no chief minister candidates yet. I mean, of course, uh, that's their prerogative. But in our case, our chief minister is a super popular chief minister who's done very well. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's done a wonderful job on both development and welfare. So I don't see much of a challenge that way. I mean, the fatigue, the anti incumbency against MLAs, you know, what happens today? It's instant gratification. Ka hai. Hmm. So, kabhi kabhi ek bar kya hota hai? in spite of doing hmm. very well a number of counts, hmm. I mean, if I have to reel out a few things quickly hmm. on what all we've achieved, hmm. it's the first state in the country to have provided a portable drinking water connection to every home. Hmm. Uh, that inspired Har Gar Jal, by the way, Mission yeah. Bhagirat. We are, in fact, the state with the highest per capita income in the country now. We were ranked uh, quite low in the past, in the 15th rank. Hmm. Now we are number one. In paddy production, today we are number one, surpassing Punjab and Haryana from a 14th rank to number one. Mm. So a number of counts we have done exceedingly well and we have initiated a number of development and welfare measures which are super popular, which have been uh, inspiring other parts of uh, India and also union government. So while there is some fatigue, I think uh, end of the day, I think uh, our popularity, our party leaders' popularity exceeds and eclipses a lot of these negatives. I'll come to the economic and social indices a little later in our conversation because I know there's a lot to unpack there and you've, you've rattled off some of those numbers. There are other numbers that the opposition is using against you. So more on that later. Let me ask you the broad political question. The one narrative that the Congress is using against you mm-hmm. is that somewhere you've got a covert understanding with the BJP, right? And the one example that they put out for this is that your sister Kavita, uh, who is seen to be implicated in what's come to be known as the Delhi liquor scam, uh, was not arrested. Whereas Manish Sisodia has now been in jail for months. You know the allegation. She's been accused of being part of a sort of South Club. uh, And and, and, you know that that a friendly liquor policy was created in exchange for cash, which went into the Ahmadmi party coffers. The whisper (laughs) is, A, uh, that Kavita is not arrested. This shows that there is a deal. Hai. B, that there was a meeting that took place. Prime Minister has said, KCR came to me and he wanted us all to come together. He wanted to join the NDA. I'll answer it in two parts. The first yeah. part is, 
uh, if Kavita not being arrested is ground enough, is reason enough for somebody to believe that we are in, uh, you know, uh, in, in collusion. Uh -huh. Let me ask you, uh, let me shoot back saying, if we were colluded, if we had colluded, why would there be a case in the first place? That's the first question I would ask. And the second part is... Well, politics second, is not static, right? So yeah. maybe, 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 mm -hmm. maybe, maybe you weren't on such good terms, but you're seeking to come on good terms we've again. Been, no, no, we've been, we've been accused of uh, uh, disrespecting the prime minister when he visits town for the last three years. Yeah. Our leader has been accused of being disrespectful, of not receiving the prime minister, etc., mm. etc. Et so where is the question of collusion there? And second part, second part. Mm. If, I, let me also remind you that uh, when you said Sisodia is arrested, Kavita mm -hmm. is not, Kavita has actually gotten a stay from the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. So let me... Remind your viewers and you as well that she is basically fighting a case in Supreme Court. Oh. And I think that's the reason why they have not arrested her. The third part to it. Mm. If somebody not getting arrested is is uh, uh, ground enough to believe that they are colluded, they, that they have colluded, mm -hmm. then Sonia Ji and Rahul also have not been arrested. They are facing an inquiry in National Herald. Mm. Are, they, are they also in collusion? Are they also hand in glove with BJP? Mm. And the last part when you said, uh, Modi ne kaha ki hum NDA join hona cha rahe the. मैं ये बात पूछता हूं बरका की मोदी जी के वर्ड्स कब से सैक्रोसैंक बन गए इस देश में उन्होंने तो कहा था कि 2024 तक हर किसी के पास घर होगा हर घर में नल होगा बुलेट ट्रेन्स दौड़ेंगे पॉसिबिलिटी इकॉनमी होगा मैं आ रहा हूं उसी बात दो करोड़ युवाओं को बेरोजगार मिलेगा और 5 ट्रिलियन इकॉनमी हो जाएगा साथ ही साथ आमदनी डबल हो जाएगी किसानों की उनमें जितना वास्तव है इतने इसमें भी उतना ही वास्तव है आई यू अक्यूजिंग द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ लाइंग इजंट ही वन यू टेल मी यू आर द पॉलिटिशियन आई एम द जर्नलिस्ट वेल एब्सोल्युटली बिकॉज़ यू आर कॉलिंग द प्राइम मिनिस्टर अ लायर आई एम कॉलिंग हिम अ ग्रेट स्क्रिप्ट राइटर आई थिंक ही शुड ट्राई हिज हैंड एट विनिंग एन एकेडमी अवार्ड बिकॉज़ यू नो नाटू नाटू वन द ऑस्कर फॉर बेस्ट डांस एंड बेस्ट सॉन्ग Hmm. I think the prime minister is capable of winning an Oscar for best script writing. So what happened in that conversation? That I meeting did is, that uh, meeting did take place, right? Between your father and the see, prime minister. The prime minister and the chief minister meeting each other is quite normal. I mean, hmm. these are two institutions, uh -huh. you know, which which uh, which have to be in sync, which have to work in sync. Uh -huh. The prime minister meeting a chief minister is not a big news. So what happened and in that conversation? And what transpires in a forty-five minute to one hour meeting uh -huh. uh, is something that you will have to ask either of them. But I can tell you one thing, and and, and our chief minister has already answered it in uh, the recent India Today interview as well. He had categorically denied it, saying basically it's a figment of the prime minister's imagination. Not Mayor, the meeting. Not the meeting itself. The meeting they met number of times. Yeah. Right. So, now what the prime minister alludes to is a meeting so that what, happened two and a half. So what years. is the truth of the conversation according to you? Absolute, absolute, okay. uh, absolutely rubbish because it is not. It is not something that we moted. And also, let me tell you. Let me tell you. हमें कोई पागल कुत्ता ने नहीं काटा है कि कोई इंडिया में इंडिया में जाके ज्वाइन हो जाएंगे क्योंकि इंडिया है कौन इंडिया में इंडिया में अगर कोई है तो उसमें है सीबीआई ईडी आईटी और बीजेपी और कौन है और वो डूबती नावा है डूबती कहां से इट्स इट्स इट इट इज इट इज on the, on the national stage it is the strongest political party at, in recent at, memory dukti kahan se it, at least for now but i think uh, if people are able to see through the designs in 24 in 24 we are quite confident that bjp will be shown the door and 100% we feel that uh, we have a good chance of coming back in telangana we'll win significant number of seats here we'll enter maharashtra we'll win some parliament seats there as well and come to delhi and basically try and see how we can enforce a coalition which is secular so more questions for you as we hit the campaign trail with you but i have one one question on the prime minister you're saying there's no truth to the prime minister's Absolutely claim not an, that your party was, and your father was, yeah if there was, yes if there was then why did why, why did it why did it take prime minister two and a half years of sweet time to come out and uh, you know talk about it because two and a half years later he suddenly got a a, a brain flash or a brain wave and said okay mai abhi bataunga ja ke telangana do dai saal pe kya kar rahe the your party has supported the center on key legislation so did congress so what so did congress congress supported gst congress supported number of other legislations Our, we we rejected farm laws we voted against uh, the citizen amendment act we voted against uh, we uh, op openly came out against uniform civil code so and today you regret uh, supporting the abrogation of 317 kashmir absolutely. what absolutely. made you change your mind well i think in hindsight because when they said uh, they will restore statehood expeditiously we, uh -huh. we took it uh, at face value and that did not happen and i think it's a mistake in hindsight and and you, you why did you make that mistake you think like at I that said, time like i said you know at that point in time it was uh, it was cited as as a bill that will for a short term 
they would abrogate create level playing field so your problem is not the abrogation of 370 your problem is the denial of statehood if that comes back would well, that would this, that vote have still been a mistake the thing is in this country if you think about it for a minute you know where uh, union territories are becoming states and we are a, we are a party that fought for statehood so for us we understand the value of uh, you know autonomy and being a statehood in a federal structure and when that is denied to the people of kashmir definitely i believe it's a mistake well lots more to ask uh, K- K- kt rama rao we're going to be hitting the campaign trail with him we are headed towards the area of kamaredi where his father uh, the chief minister is going to be contesting as his uh, second seat or will be joining the road show and taking a chopper ride with ktr as we continue to grill him in battlefield telangana <laughs> So we're headed to the area of Kamaredi uh, where your father is contesting in you know he's contesting from there this time why two seats why not when rahul can contest from amethi and why not modi can contest from gandhinagar and varanasi i think it was why not but there must have been some thought to it no i mean the thing this is, is of course his native village is in this area but why and also a strategic move you know we wanted to rev up uh, adjoining constituencies as well and uh, yes i think it's working well but which seat will he keep I think he'll keep uh, one of them. <laughs> You're being very, very uh, uh, obscure. <laughs> huh? Well, obfuscation is uh, is one of those things that you have to do at uh, at some at some points, especially before an election, before we go to polls. So let me ask you this: the TRS is now the BRS. Yes. They were national ambitions. Do you think the party overreached before its time? No, I think you know you have to start somewhere. I mean, uh, like they say, even a thousand mile journey begins with a couple of steps. we look at bjp in this very very country you know uh, they had two mps 40 years ago now they are 303 so it's not like we are in a rush to uh, you know achieve something massive in 24 we we want to make an impactful debut in maharashtra that's the immediate ambition and then beyond that we'll see how it goes because i think any leader who's worth his salt in this country who's done well as a hat trick chief minister after third of december ksr will be the first hat trick chief minister from southern india you hope No, oh, I believe so. I strongly believe. The other hat trick chief minister who went on to become prime minister was the present prime minister. I Does your father have similar ambitions? Why not? Why not? So, so KC our dreams of being prime minister one day? Eventually. Eventually. If may not be in 24, but eventually yes, why not? I mean So that's a very uh, specific admission here that KC Ramarao the chief minister of Telangana does want to be prime minister of India one day. Well, I'm not the chief minister yet. It's KC. No, I mean I I'm, I'm saying just, you are saying on behalf of your father who is the chief minister that he all does want is, to be chief. All I'm saying is this country is not bipolar. This country is not a toss up between I think India can do better than Modi and Rahul is what I'm saying. And all I'm asking you is is this a realistic ambition for your father and your party to have? In in see nothing is beyond the realm of possibility in politics and in India because if you think about it Before 2014, who was Narendra Modi ji? Even even he was not uh, you know taken seriously outside of Gujarat. But when he started campaign after 2010, after he won the third election, he was taken seriously, and of course he was part of a national party. So therefore, I think he had a better platform to mm. kind of uh, make it happen quicker. But what we want to do is make an impactful debut in Maharashtra, like I've been saying, win big in Telangana. and then hopefully have 30 40 seats in parliament and then who knows where well we'll you go. have to win telangana first to of course of course like in cricket they say you have to play the next ball so so let's head yeah, for the field cheers cheers ask you this did you expect the congress to be putting up the kind of fight that it is right now well the congress is more in social media than in society because uh, from whatever little i've seen whatever uh, reports that i'm hearing whatever surveys i'm looking at it's all us winning all over the place the thing is all this hype that is created around congress and their resurgence etc is primarily because bjp which was flying high till about 6 8 months ago has suddenly dipped So the runner-up position is now going to belong to the Congress. So it doesn't matter to us because we are going to be the winner. Now who the runner-up is, it's their headache, not ours. You don't think that your main challenger today is the Congress party? They are, of course. Like I said, the winds from you know the BJP have started shifting towards Congress in the last six months only because I think the BJP was never organically a strong force here, but they had a bit of a uh, yeah, sort of a flash in the pan kind of a moment, and now that is dissipated all of a sudden. So whatever little they had going for them, that has shifted towards Congress. So like I said, the runner-up position is up for the grabs between the two guys, BJP and Congress. 
So I think it's going to be the Congress who's going to be the first runner-up. Let me ask you uh, your opinion on Ravant Reddy, uh, the chief of the Congress in Telangana. Uh, many are crediting him with having turned the Congress campaign around. Uh, it, he's also contesting directly against your father in Kamaredi, uh, where we are headed now. Uh, how do you see Ravant Reddy as a challenger, uh, both to your father in Kamaredi as well as an overall contender for, uh, you know, as an opposition leader? Barkha, mark my words. Last time in 2018, Ravant had lost his seat in Kodangal. This time he's contesting from two seats. He's going to lose both of them. And in Kamaredi, where he's running against the chief minister, he come third. Mark my words. We will talk on the third of December. Mark my words. What do you what, do? You think he's a worthy challenger, a serious challenger? Like I said, if he's going to lose his own seat, where is the question of being a challenger or whatever? You have in uh, on record called him a criminal. How can you use a word like that for a political opponent? Well, he's a third-rate criminal, not just a criminal. What is your basis to say that? Well, he was caught red-handed in front of the cameras with fifty lakh rupees, uh, bribing an MLA of ours. The whole world has seen it. The case is still on. Let me also remind you that his own party MPs, his colleague, Mr. Venkat Reddy, has gone on record and said, Ravant has purchased the PCC presidentship for a sum of rupees 50 crore. That shows you how intellectually bankrupt Congress Party is and politically bankrupt Congress Party is to offer presidentship to a fellow who just bought it in an open bid. Well, a lot more questions about the Congress when we land. But one last question to you on your campaign strategy. Ten years in power, a certain degree of inevitable anti-incumbency, yet only seven sitting MLAs, please correct me if I'm wrong, actually changed. Do you think that was a mistake? Do you think the people of Telangana deserved fresher faces? No, I don't think so. Because people eventually you know, have given chances uh, repeatedly to anybody who's done well. You look at Odisha, Naveen Patnaik ji has been elected five times on the trot. In Gujarat, BJP has been elected again five consecutive terms. So I think people eventually look at who's going to run the state. Now effectively they'll deliver the goods. And I think KCRG has done really well. I see no reason why there will be a problem. And for you personally, this is what, your fifth election? This is my fifth uh, general election and I won all four on the trot and hopefully the fifth one as well. Uh, have you changed as a politician? Oh yeah, I have. I What's was, the one thing that's changed? I was completely clueless on caste and uh, all the nonsense that uh, goes around in the name of religion. After dabbling in politics, that's one hard realization that uh, hits you. Uh, it's truly, truly sad that you know you have to live with this realization that uh, caste and religion do matter, and it's it's truly unfortunate. The one scary thing that politicians have to do is to take choppers in campaigns, wave in a chopper, things are getting a bit turbulent. Are you a nervous flyer? Well, I'm more nervous about uh, ask, answering your tough questions. I'm not a nervous flyer at all. All right, so we're looking out at the mist. Uh, if the camera turns, you can see it's a little misty outside. We should be landing down in the Kamaredi area in a few moments uh, from now, hopefully, with many more questions for Katie Ramarao. Hello, Lachana. Welcome. You are here. Hello, Lachana. No, absolutely not. Our leader is in the pink of his health. And I think he has an attempt to uh, definitely go on for another 10 15 years. And I'm happy where I am. Never expected to be a minister. So if I ask for anything more, I think it will be greedy. 
but there was talk of a generational shift within the party and a lot of people thought you might become officially the chief minister but i never thought of it that way i think it was more about speculation that you know in politics unfortunately we take things for granted but the fact is you can never do that because end of the day there are many more qualified people many more smarter people in my party just because i am my leader's son does not mean that i am entitled to opposition but i'm sure everybody wants the top job don't you want the top job in your state like i said not really there are many many more qualified people many many more smarter people happy happy to be there and you don't think the party would benefit from a generational shift well i don't think so our leader is doing very well He's super popular among the public so therefore i don't see any reason why they should be changed so before i ask the next set of questions you can see here the crowds all along and ktr ktr is here waving to the crowds but ruling out all talk of a generational shift in the party let me just get this side and ask him a few more questions what is the one thing if you could just turn it around and look at our camera what is the one thing that you would do differently or you do do differently from your father well i think i'm younger so i tend to be more uh, i tend to be more uh, uh, i do more of these road shows i don't think uh, he does he does uh, you know a campaign like this i like more energy i like more engagement there is been some criticism of your father that he is inaccessible spends too much time at the farm house doesn't meet people doesn't meet his legislators no. do you encourage your father to be uh, to be more accessible to be more open in the way you're being he, here he that has been said for the last 23 years we have been hearing it up hearing about it time and again i don't think that's a bit, you know it's an issue that concerns people at large because of course of course he's a he's one of the top performing chief ministers in the state for, in the country for a reason he has delivered the goods he has delivered the basics that people want so i don't think uh, that is an issue at all from the people perspective as the crowds cheer you on and your party on here i have to ask you about rahul gandhi and i ask you about rahul gandhi because many people argue that it was rahul gandhi's bharat jodo yatra that made the congress a contender in the state how do you assess rahul gandhi as a political opponent i think rahul gandhi is somebody who needs to do a lot more reading and uh, when i say reading i just don't mean the scripts that he's given but i think he should uh, he really wants to evolve as a leader he should develop an understanding of what works and what doesn't and at this point in time i think in telangana is clueless he is clueless he is clueless what's the one word you choose to describe him clueless you've called him uh, a word with they've called you the b team of the bjp but i called him a buffoon yeah i did and uh, i stand by it, of course you think rahul gandhi is a buffoon i ah, see the thing is when somebody comes into telangana and accuses of 1 lakh crore graft in a 80000 crore project what do you call it why would you personalize your commentary on rahul gandhi in this because way? you know when you when somebody makes random reckless accusations like that and that too without any basis or even some clarity on yes, clarity on what really went on obviously you know you, you do feel offended the congress accuses you of corruption the bjp talks the about congress, this the congress can talk about multiple things with the factors a to z corruption a to z corruption is what the congress has always been known for because आदर्श से लेके बोफोर से लेके कॉमनवेल्थ तक कांग्रेस इज स्टीप इन करप्शन तो कांग्रेस टॉक नो बट करप्शन इज अ जोक एंड आल्सो देयर प्रदेश कांग्रेस कमेटी प्रेसिडेंट हियर वाज समबडी हु वाज कॉट विथ 50 लाख रुपीस ऑफ कैश एज दे वर ऑफरिंग अ ब्राइब टू एन एमएलए तो कांग्रेस टॉक नो बट करप्शन हैज टू बी अ सीरियस जोक सो इफ आई आस्क यू जस्ट टू फ्लिप अराउंड जस्ट फॉर अ सेकंड सो आवर कैमरा कैन कैच यू बेटर व्हाट do you think rahul gandhi is a bigger threat to the trs brs today or the bjp under prime minister modi i think rahul gandhi is the biggest asset for prime minister modi that's and for you and for you well he is an asset wherever he goes to the opposition 
Because whatever he says, if he's going to boomerang, he's going to backfire in the Congress. How do you respond to the charges that you have inherited your job? I know Rahul Gandhi can't make that argument, but the BJP can. Well, I don't think BJP can either. Because, you know, they have too many Parivarvad, uh, polit- too much Parivarvad politics happening in BJP. Who's Jay Shah? Who's Jay Shah to be running BCCI? Other than the fact that he's Amit Shah's son. What, what other entitlement does he have? Which makes him qualified enough to run BCCI. The Congress says there are multiple the Congress says there are multiple chief ministerial candidates in your party. The Congress says there are multiple chief ministerial candidates in your party. You, your father, your sister. There's only one chief minister, that is KCR. We all work under him and we'll be happy to work under him without any title or position. Let me ask you this. Okay, lots of cheers for the leader there. Over the noise, we're going to try and squeeze in one last question. Let me try and squeeze one more question from you, so I'll ask you to flip around. In case you do not make the government on your own and you fall short of the numbers, will you be open to a post poll alliance with the BJP? We are winning 88 plus. So that question does not What if it happens? We'll talk in third. I'm telling you very clearly. Your father, is, your father is known for his pragmatism. No, Could you consider question, aligning with the BJP? Absolutely not. Vote? Absolutely not. We'd rather sit in the opposition. Yeah. You absolutely would rather not. sit in the rather sit in opposition. And what is the fate of the yeah. India Alliance? Do you think you made a mistake by not being part of it? I think India is a, India Alliance is all about chai biscuit meetings. Nothing serious about it. I want to show you something. There's a uh, yeah. under Kitu Mobiles. There's a welcome KTR sir. Uh, so. But to come back to come back to the India Alliance, have you been in touch with other non-BJP, non-Congress parties? Absolutely we are. We are in active engagement. Hopefully after the 3rd of December, we can take it forward uh, more strongly. But many of them are part of the India Alliance. That's what I'm saying. I think most of them are coming out. Now Achilles is already accusing the Congress of being arrogant, which has always been the case. I think he's just realized it now. Okay, I'm going to let you get back to your uh, road show. KTR, KTR there ruling out an alliance with the BJP post poll and saying that even other parties in the India alliance will soon want to recalibrate their positions once the election is over. Here on the ground, here on the ground, in Telangana, this is Barkhadar with Anup Kumar for Mojo Story. So we've uh, just stopped to have a quick lunch. Um, tell us what we're eating, by the way, before I get to the politics. Proper South Indian fare. Mm-hmm. Chawal mm-hmm. with some non-vegetarian mm-hmm. lamb, mm-hmm. some dal and some papu charu, which is basically what is that? lentil soup with a lot of veggies in it. Sounds very healthy. Mm-hmm. So let's come back to the politics. We just Today saw that. Know? We just saw the road show. Mm-hmm. Some of the slogans from the ground. People were very excited about seeing you and they want you to be chief minister. So let me ask you. There was talk that there could be a generational shift that your father could make way for you. Won't we ever see you as a chief ministerial contender? Well, honestly speaking, you know, to be where I am, a very privileged position as a minister mm. in itself is something that I have never dreamt of. Mm. So to want anything beyond this is absolute greed. But people I'm wanted happy. it. That no. was the, um, the sort of cries from the crowd. You know, that was some of our party workers would probably want to do that. But uh, I think our chief minister is young. He's in the pink of his health. And I think he has an item hit in him to go on for longer. So I don't see any reason. And also, honestly speaking, like I said, I'm a privileged Hmm. Uh, you know, uh, entrant into politics. Hmm. To they never did I think, never did I thought it. Never did I think that I would be in this position. Hmm. Like I said, and, uh, to want anything more is honestly. Hmm. What is the one thing you do differently from your father in politics? I have lunch with Barkha Dutt. <laughs> I don't think. I hope, I hope I can have lunch with KCR one day. <laughs> I'm saying. Hmm. I don't think he's done that in the past. So, but yeah. No, uh, all I'm saying is he's he belongs to a different generation. Hmm. So maybe there are a few things which uh, um, I do, which is slightly different. I'm probably more uh, 
new age that way, I probably engage more. Mm -hmm. um, he comes from the old school where, uh, you know, people come to hear him, mm -hmm. cheer him, and he was the leader of the movement. So he has a special aura. Uh, he has a special aura that none of us do. He's uh, the leader of the movement. He's principally responsible for the formation of the state. Mm -hmm. So he has a certain aura that... Uh, None of us in Telangana politics, cutting across different parties. Hmm. Can I serve you some? This, this is aloo. Tomatoes this is and aloo together. Oh. So this Delicious. Is possibly it's quite spicy though, the food. It is, huh? it is. It is, it is. Bas, 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 I'll become an aloo food. myself if I eat more aloo. The, te <laughs> the Telugu food is uh, quite spicy. It's quite spicy. Andhra no, but listen, Telangana. you're talking about your father having a different style. One of the criticisms about him is that he's not accessible. Yeah, he's he, not accessible. He doesn't meet people enough. He doesn't meet his MLAs enough. How do you respond to that criticism? That's not at all true. He's... Uh, He's been accessible and he's been basically as a leader of the state. Hmm. He's been doing things in a, with a missionary zeal. You know, he's, he's the first chief minister in the country to have completed a drinking water project which provides portable drinking water connection hmm. to every home. So these sort of things require a single-minded pursuit. He's completed the world's largest lift irrigation project. He's made Telangana, which was a barren land, into now the granary of India. Hmm. These are no mean achievements. Do you, uh, do you both think similarly politically or do you have a different take? For example, of course, suppose yes. you fall short of the majority after elections would and there was the possibility of aligning with the BJP, would you do it? Absolutely. Firstly, we will not short, fall short. Because, if you do? Well, if you is a question that uh, I think will not arise. So I would rather not, uh, you know, but the, the fact is we fought five elections, Barkar. Hmm. 2004, we aligned with uh, Congress. Hmm. 2009, we aligned with uh, Communists and the TDP. Hmm. 2014, 18 and 23, we're fighting alone. We have never aligned with BJP ever in our history. And secondly, we've not even aligned with them in a local body election. So, I would say that, you know, if anybody is aligned in Telangana with BJP, it is the Congress. They have, in fact, they have shared the bed in two local municipalities here, mm. Maktal and uh, Manikonda. Mm. They still are together. Mm. And they, in fact, had a tacit understanding last time in parliament elections where three BJP MPs, Adilabad, Nizamabad and Karimnagar, all three of them were supported by Congress cadre and the vote was... You're saying the Congress and the BJP have a de facto understanding yes. in some seats? You can go and check it out in the, in, the, in, the, in the ground. The ground reality is in Adilabad, Nizamabad, and Karim Nagar, oh. the Congress cadre worked for BJP last parliament. Talking about alliances. And even now, by the way. Okay, we'll put that the three, to the... The three rabble rousers yeah. of the BJP, Raja Singh, mm -hmm. Bandi Sanjay, mm -hmm. and uh, Dharmapuri Arvind, who are known Muslim haters, yeah. who spew venom day in, day out. Congress has made a dummy candidate for three BJP. But why? Because BJP has an understanding of what is going on. Delhi or maybe mein, they don't want to waste a candidate no, on the Delhi mein, Delhi mein, jo media houses and Delhi mein jo journalists hai, aapko kuch hum kehte hai, to tajub hota hai, thoda ashari bhi hota hoga hmm. shayad. But the fact is, at a local level, wohi dushman ka dushman dost wala, kyunki both of them look at us as a stronger force. Hmm. So they are lying. Okay, uh, we'll put that to the Congress, but my question is, talking about alliances, your party has been in alliance with the Congress in the past. Yes. You opted, you, did, you chose to remain neutral on the India alliance. Why was that? Because the Congress did not concede Telangana. We had to walk out of the alliance in two years, less than two years. In 2004, we came out, we fought hard against them. Eventually, we had to wage a battle to actually uh, make sure that they concede Telangana. Mm. The Congress is looked at as a party which has always been against the interests of Telangana. So, therefore, there is no question about joining them in any kind of alliance or any kind of formation. And more importantly, Barka, 75 years post-independence, the one party which has gotten the maximum number of opportunities is the Congress mm. in the country, 50 plus years. And they all they did was deadly squat, really, honestly. So therefore, why would you want a failed party, which has failed India, not just itself, why would you want to align with anybody level? What would you, you call the Prime Minister in our conversation a script writer? Yes. What would you call Rahul Gandhi? I think Rahul Gandhi is basically a script reader. PM is script writer, Rahul Gandhi is script Basically, reader. Rahul Gandhi is not a leader. Hmm. He just reads out scripts wherever he goes. 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 He just reads out scripts wherever he goes
उनको लगता है कि उन्होंने ठेका ले रखा है मुसलमान के वोटों पे माइनॉरिटी वोट्स पे अगर कोई और आता है एंड दे स्टार्ट मेकिंग एन इम्पैक्टफुल प्रेजेंस राहुल गांधी एंड कांग्रेस डजन लाइक सो दे फॉर दे स्टार्ट नो दिस डाय ट्राइब नेम कॉलिंग सेइंग वी टीम व्हाट आई आस्क राहुल गांधी इज प्लीज टेल अस व्हाई शुड द मुस्लिम्स ऑफ दिस कंट्री वोट फॉर यू बिकॉज़ आफ्टर 55 इयर्स ऑफ योर गवर्नमेंट कंसेक्यूटिव गवर्नमेंट मुस्लिम्स हैव रिमेन वेयर दे आर योर ग्रैंड मदर सेड गरीबी हटाओ क्या उखाड़ लिया 50 साल में कुछ मैं राज्य वाले द मुस्लिम वोट इज शिफ्टिंग इन तेलंगाना टू द कांग्रेस आई डोंट थिंक सो आई थिंक मुस्लिम्स आर स्मार्ट थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू एवरी सिटीजन ऑफ तेलंगाना इज स्मार्टर देन व्हाट द कांग्रेस वुड लाइक यू टू बिलीव दे यूज अ बी बी टीम फ्रेज फॉर यू यू यूज्ड अ बी वर्ड फॉर हिम Well, what do you call a guy? Who What's the word first? Well, I, I called him a buffoon. Rahul and Gandhi. I, yes, and the reason why I called him a buffoon is because what do you call a guy who accuses K C R Garu of one lakh crore grab in a eighty thousand crore project? The project be khatam ho gaya. Pani bhi aa raha hai. Is sab dekhne ke baad bhi asi hazar crore mein jo project khatam ho gaya. Usme aake kehta hai aadmi ki ek lakh crore ka gutala ho gaya. Usko kya bolay buffoon nahi? But the essence of the allegation. The essence of the allegation is is it's untrue, it's silly and it's absurd. And nine and a half years, Modi has been saying the same thing. BJP has been saying the same thing. But any iota of evidence, let them go to a court of law and prove it. Who do you uh, disagree with more politically, the Prime Minister and his party, or Rahul Gandhi and his party? Well, we are selective on certain things. I mean, I don't agree with uh, the Prime Minister on his politics of hate. we don't look at india as being exclusive to one community unfortunately bjp it seems to think so and i don't agree with rahul on the fact that congress is a needed change in this country because congress is the biggest white elephant of this country on the 3rd of december what do you think the situation or your mood would be like after we win we can chat Will we have the same lunch or a different lunch? If you come to Hyderabad, maybe a different lunch which is less spicy, so that uh, it's very you spicy. Start, uh, you don't sniffle and you know kind of go through. It is very spicy, but it was delicious. But I do, I do, I do want to ask you in the end, KTR. If there's, you're calling Rahul Gandhi a buffoon today. You're calling Prime Minister a scriptwriter. Nothing is permanent in politics. Yeah, they call his names as well. Please remember that they call KCR Karab. They call him lots of other names as well. Nothing is permanent in politics. Tomorrow, if you need them, need them for what? I Short think of numbers. There will numbers. be a situation, Barkha, where they will need us. Delhi को घुटनों पे आना पड़ेगा regional parties के पास. Oh. आके उनकी घमंड छोड़ के, उनके बड़े-बड़े pedestal से उतर के, अपने गद्दियों से उतर के, बाहर आए, पूरे हिंदुस्तान में जो performer हैं, उनकी तरफ देखें, बात करें, समझने की कोशिश करें कि क्या करना चाहिए, क्या नहीं करना चाहिए. जो गलतियां उन्होंने की पिछले पचहत्तर साल में चाहे वो कांग्रेस हो या बीजेपी हो उनको सीखना चाहिए उनको लोगों को भी उनको सबक सिखाना भी चाहिए बीजेपी Even yeah, even the prime minister says that it was talking about you becoming chief minister and them joining NDA. We don't need the prime minister's permission, you know, to decide our party leadership, because the prime minister and his party have all they have in this uh, state assembly is one seat. So we don't really need his permission or no objection certificate to decide on our leadership. But I can tell you again, our leader is in the pink of his health. Cool. He will continue to run the state. Thank you, Kathi Ramana, for talking to us after a very spicy but delicious lunch. We are going to let. Uh, let him hit the campaign trail uh, in the area of Kamaredi, uh, which is an ancestral place of his father, where K C Ramarao is contesting uh, the second seat. And yes, you need a lot of these when the spices are as uh, intense as they are in this delicious meal. This is Barkhadat uh, signing off on the ground in Telangana.